Hey guys, it's Bob back again, and today we're going to do something I've wanted to do for a while now. I found some vintage from 1992, some wacky Wild West Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures at a yard sale. And I've been wanting to review these, but I just have been kind of busy. Uh, but now I can get around to doing them. So on the first one I'm going to do today, and this is the Bandito Bashing Mike figure. As you can see, the vintage packaging is pretty awesome. I got him for really cheap, so that's why I'm going to open him up because he's been in the packaging for 23 years now, since 1992, and today is 2015, so yeah. As you got the window, window packaging, you got some of his accessories here. We'll get into that in a second. You got this motif of very Wild West. You can kind of see, if I would actually raise up the camera so you can see it. Uh, you got uh, pictures of Mikey right here holding a knife and you got another one here you got one down here shooting very cool very very silly um, back in the old days uh, playmates did a lot of variant of the Ninja Turtles uh, a lot of different paint schemes sports as you can see this one's Wild West uh, it, the line just kept going and going and going and it got ridiculous there after a while but as you can see the original price tag still on it I don't know if you can see that yeah from Kmart it's four dollars and twenty seven cents back in 1992 pretty cool here you got some of those vintage figures I was talking about let me let me raise this up a little bit and zoom in so you guys can see it here you got um, some of these figures are pretty crazy you got focus man focus why aren't you focusing it's having a rough time there you go anyway so you got some like sports guys track and field you got movie store Movie star Mikey, you got um, all kinds of different guys. You got the Olympics, hot dog and Mikey, uh, super speed runner Ralph and uh, Ralph, and he had uh, some Olympic medals. You had weightlifting, you had uh, movie star from the movie. You had clowns, all kinds of different ones. But in this line, you had Chief Leo. Bandito Bash and Mike, you got Sewer Scout Ralph, Raph, and you got Crazy Cowboy Donnie. So anyway, so there's that. Very silly. They, I mean, like I said, they went crazy on this line. Uh, all the different figures and stuff. Anyway, so here's a look at what he comes with. And take a note. These are painted. These are not. 23 years ago. They still didn't paint certain things. So people complaining about, oh, this figure nowadays in 2015 should have better paint. Ah, yeah. It's all the green. Look at that little bandito dude. Uh, back here, fully painted. Thorny the Cactus Pal, he sticks to ya. <laughs> anyway, so you had like a little thing there. You had uh, a Jopalo, Jopalino knife. I know it's jalapeno, but I like to say jalapeno. Knife, you got a uh, revolver holster, you got the Calapunga cork shotgun, uh, double barreled for twice the fun, and you had the, the reptile revolver. Shake hands with this sewer <laughs> sidearm. Very silly, I mean they had all kinds of funny stuff um, on here, so yeah. Anyway, so we're going to take a uh, look at him, and yes, I am going to open it. It is going to be a vintage toy I'm going to open. As he says there, it's fiesta time, dude. <laughs> okay, well, let's crack this thing open right here, right now, and I bet you guys are probably going to kill me. But I don't care because I don't like collecting things in package, and he's been in there for a very, very long time. And I paid a dollar at it for a yard, yard sale dollar find. I, I paid a dollar. Uh, I'm not going to sell it. It's going to go in my vintage collection. Anyway, so there you go. You pull this out of here. So it's like an unboxing, uh, unpackaging. There you got his little accessory pack. We'll put that to the back there. We'll pull the figure out. Hello, welcome to the world. You've been in, stuck in there for 23 years. And see, I still kept it so you can kind of still keep the packaging halfway decent. I mean, a little bit of tape and stuff if you are an on-card collector. Uh, I forgot to tell you about the little bio. You can read that if you want to. You can pause it and read it. You can clip and collect but anyway um, so this can go over to the abyss and uh, we will 
set him up. And being in there for 23 years, he's really sticky, actually. The pain on him, uh, okay. It's kind of tacky, too. It feels, feels funky. I wonder if he's, like, started degrading in there. Anyway, he has the classic can't-stand pose because it's vintage turtles. And the feedums are, like, in this must-pose-me-like-this kind of thing. And he's... There you go. So there he's standing. Let's bring this down so you can actually see what I'm doing. You get the full effect of the character. Very cool. Hopefully you guys like vintage unboxings and packaging because, like I said, I got another one of these. I found the Indian Leo still in package. His packaging isn't as good, but like I said, I'm going to rip him open anyway. Uh, let's look at this little flyer checklist. I love checklists when I was a kid. That was a big ordeal back when you were a little kid. Look at all of these figures. Holy cow. The checklist is amazing. Movie Star, Turtle Games, Sewer Spittin', Wacky Wild West, Mutant Military Family, or Mutant Military 2. You had uh, <laughs> Birthday, you had Mutants, you had Mutants Good, you had Mutants Bad. You had uh, Mutants Good, Mutants Bad. That was just one side. <laughs> there was a whole other side. You had the Mutations. Love those figures. You had mutation vehicles. You had mutation vehicles and figures. You had supersized figures. Man, they had a whole lot. There's the vehicles and accessories. Awesome. But yeah, so that's cool just to keep of, of all the vintage Ninja Turtles. There's, if you want to read that. Like I said, this is from 92, so very cool. Um, we'll take a quick look at his accessories right right quick, if I can get him to stand again. That was a problem back in the old days. You had to get him just right, and he had to be perfect. You had to get balance, and it was a task to get him to stand properly, because his feet were pre-posed, and you didn't have a whole lot to work with. Come on, dude, you were just standing just fine. What is your deal? Sometimes you have to get the arms to counterbalance. You have to get the arms just right. The head, and he's kind of top heavy anyway with this hat. I'm having issues here of getting him to stand properly. He just doesn't want to do it. Anyway, I could be doing that all day. Okay, so we'll take a look at his accessories, get these out of the bag. Uh, here you have his uh, holster for the gun. And that just goes around him like the old vintage ones had belts that always went around him. And that just, let's put him on, put this on him real quick. Um, but we'll put this around. And it just has a little peg and a little hole. And you just kind of fit that peg through that hole. And it is a gummy kind of rubber. It's not brittle or nothing. You just got to give it a good push. Until you get it to come through, and then you have his you have his holster for his gun. Pretty cool. Speaking of his gun, why won't you stand, man? Please, for Bob. Do it for Bob. You almost want to. You're so top heavy. These toys, I swear. That's why I you know, they were meant to play with, not for displaying because they do not like to stand at all. That is the theme of this review. Vintage toys have peg holes. You might have to get a display base because he is not wanting to do anything by himself. Anyway, so we'll take the look at the rest of his accessories here. Take these all out of here. They're taped in and the tape is still very sticky and holds together just fine. Abyss, more food for you. Okay, uh, here is his, as you can see, let's get the box back out because, like I said, as you can see, they're painted. This weapon is supposed to be painted. It is not. This gun is supposed to be painted. It is not. It would look, and it has all the details. It has all the fine details of sculpting and all that stuff. They should be painted. 
but they're not. So back in the old days, they did the same thing to you. They would have the product placement. Look at that. I mean, that's it's got all the details, but it should be painted like that. And this little dude, what was his name? Thorny the Cactus Pal. Thorny is just this solid green color, but if you're really good with a paintbrush, I guess you could go back in there and make them look like that. But we were happy because we played with them and they were toys and they were meant to be played with. And this thing is ridiculous. How's it supposed to look on him? Oh, it goes over his shoulder. It's like a bandolier kind of kind of thingy. It goes something like that. And these things would be the first things to get lost. You could put his gun his weapons in his arms uh, maybe kind of probably not come on man hold on to it hold on to your weapon yeah you could hold on to his gun there <laughs> and it came with quite a lot of accessories I uh, that was one thing I was very happy to see that back in the old days they had lots and lots of accessories to play with so he put his gun in his holster fits in there just fine it kind of kills the articulation a little bit, the lack of articulation, but I will show that off here in one second. Here, geez, this video is going to be forever. I'm talking and rambling. But anyway, you get the idea of him holding all of his weapons in his hands, and uh, that doesn't go in, and that just knocked down. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm going to put all of his things to the side for right quick, and we're going to get to his articulation real quick. Back in the old days, um, the heads just rotated, do 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 do, uh, right here, 360s, when this hat wasn't in his way. You had a pivot right here at the arm, it, it swiveled, it swiveled at the arm here, and it's in his hands. <gasps> what? Oh, wow, nothing works. Of course not, because it's back in vintage toys. Uh, nothing at the waist, and the legs, as you can see, there's nothing from here down. They're pre-posed. They do go in and out a little bit, and they kind of rotate inside the socket. So you get him like he's crazy running. Boop. Um, but to get him to stand, like as you could be seeing, because it's been a theme since I opened him up, they do not want to stand at all. I don't know why. He's either top heavy or he's back heavy, and you have to get him just right. Holy cow, look, he's standing. I'll buy his onesies. <laughs> Thank you. And we're going to compare him with Michelangelo, the vintage, of course I moved him and now he's not going to stand. The vintage, uh, regular release Michelangelo, as you can see he's actually a little bit taller so they didn't use the same sculpts. Because this is the vintage one from the, from the late 80's. Um, but as you can see there's the sculpting for him. Old and old, er. And he's awfully shiny, his paint, he's, he's, I don't know if you guys can see his face and stuff. He's got this like gloss to him. He's very shiny. But anyway, so there's the vintage Mikey. He's a little bit taller head wise, especially even with the hat on. But you can kind of see they kind of blew him up a little bit. Way more paint on the actual figure, which is awesome. They spent a lot of uh, time and effort to paint this figure. You can see the amazing details. You got the M there for Mikey. You got a, a very funny sculpt. He's missing a tooth. He's actually got, on his face, he's got like 5 o'clock shadow. Um, very Old West, very um, from the Mexico kind of feel to it. And, and you can see on his butt there, it's from 1992. Uh, Mirage Studio Playmate Toys. Um, even down his pant legs, they painted all these little details. And he's got, he's got spurs on his boots, two toes. Um, it's just, it's just funny. It's hysterical. Um, they just went all out. They, they went nuts with these guys. I mean, even his hands are sculpted. Uh, you got the, the bullets, bandoliers around his waist, or around his arms for the bullets and stuff. Uh, just amazing, amazing detail. I mean, they went, they went all out for these figures. And when you get all of his accessories on, you could have a fun time playing cowboy Indians with your Ninja Turtles. Say they got sucked back in time and they have mutant cactuses that stick to you. Bright Thorny, yeah. But <laughs> there you go. You got cork guns. You got all kinds of funny things. The uh, jalapeno knife, for goodness sakes. 
I mean, come on. That's just, that's funny to me. A jalapeno knife. It was just the humor and, and stuff back in the old days, the humor. And he doesn't want to hold this knife for some reason. I can't get it to fit. And nothing is really gummy in his hands. So maybe it wasn't meant to be held in that hand. Anyway, you get the idea. You get the concept. So anyway, so make sure you guys like, comment, and please subscribe on this video and my channel. And uh, this has been Bob. And this is the, the Wacky Wild West. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, what was it? It was the Bandito bashing Michael Michelangelo figure from 1992. This has been Bob. Make sure you like, comment, and please subscribe. And we'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.